Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl from Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this, and a big shout out to our subscribers. So today, I'm going to be reacting to Can We See God? So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين وأصحابه المنتجبين ومن تبعهم بإحسان وإيمان إلى يوم الدين My dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته One of the differences between the school of أهل البيت شيعة إسلام tradition and other traditions and schools of thought is over the idea of whether God is seen by people or not. Ru'yatullah. In the Shia tradition, we believe that people would never be able to see their Lord in this life and in the hereafter both. He cannot be seen by anyone and anything in all times. While in other traditions, especially the tradition of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, he considers this concept of being able to see God is one of the fundamentals. Not only God has physical parts, but also he would move from one area to another area and he occupies a space. In the tradition of Ahlul Bayt, we believe that God does not possess a physical shape, neither he occupies a certain space. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدٌ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٌ He has nothing similar to him in shape and size. He does not have a shape and size. Now let's go through some of these narrations. And I quote from Sahih al-Bukhari that God moves from one space into another. One of them. On the Day of Judgment, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is Volume 3, 128. On the Day of Judgment, it will be said to hell, إلى النار. Are you filled up? It will say, are there any more? So the Lord, blessed and exalted, Blessed and exalted is he will put his leg in another version of the hadith. He would stretch his foot into the fire whereupon it will say, now I am full. Now I am full. This is in Sahih al-Bukhari. Let me quote another hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari, the book of the times of prayers. And this is hadith number 521. One of the companions says, we were sitting with the messenger of God one day and it was full moon above us. So the prophet pointed to the full moon and he said, do you see this full moon? Is it clear to you? We said, oh, messenger of God. Yes, we can see it. It's very clear. He said to us, innakum satarawna rabbakum yawm al kama tarawna hadha al-qamar. You going to be able to see your Lord on the day of judgment the same way you are seeing this full moon now. 
Meaning physically you can see him. Physically. Now, they have other narrations where they assert that people on the Day of Judgment are going to see God with their own physical eyes. And this is regardless whether they are believers or non-believers. Now, the argument here is to be able to see God, it means that God possesses a physical nature, physical structure. He has a size, he has a color. If he does not have a physical nature, how you can see him with something which is physical, your eyes? While in the school of Ahlul Bayt, we assert what the Quran is teaching us. Allah has no similarity. Allah is not compatible with anything. Allah does not have the shape and the size and the structure that we all have. Allah is not contained in one space, in one area. Allah does not move from one space into another. He is in all spaces. To whatever direction you turn, he is there. So he does not have a physical structure. Now, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal considered this to seem part of the fundamentals of Islam. And even Imam Malik and Imam Shafi'i, they disagree with this. They agree actually with this idea of God, people being able to see God on the Day of Judgment. Here they cannot see him, but on the Day of Judgment, they would be able to see him and see his face. We believe this is impossible because this is exactly what the Quran is telling us. Let's open the Quran and see what does Quran say about the possibility of seeing God. Here in this life, we read in Surah Al-Baqarah in verse 54, Allah addresses the children of Israel. He says to them, وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَىٰ لَنْ نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى نَرَى اللَّهَ جَهْرَةً We would never believe in you unless we see God very visible, jahra, apparent, very clear, openly. حَتَّى نَرَى اللَّهَ جَهْرَةً فَأَخَذَتْكُمُ الصَّاعِقَةُ وَأَنْتُمْ تَنْظُرُونَ Therefore, you were seized with thunderbolt while you were looking. Then we raised you up after death so that you might be grateful. This is one of the verses. We go to the second one, and this is verse 153 in Surah An-Nisa. O Prophet Muhammad, the people of book, they ask you أن تنزل عليهم كتابا من السماء فقد سألوا موسى أكبر من ذلك The people of book, they come to you, they say we want you to cause the dissension of a physical book. We see it from heaven. Actually, they asked Musa even worse than that. أكبر من ذلك means أكبر in sinning, greater in sin. Worse than that. What did they ask him? فَقَالُوا أَرِنَ اللَّهَ جَهْرَةً فَأَخَذَتْهُمُ الصَّاعِقَةُ بِظُلْمِهِمْ ثُمَّ اتَّخَذُوا الْعِجْلَ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْبَيِّنَاتِ فَعَفَوْنَا عَنْ ذَلِكَ وَأَتَيْنَا مُوسَى سُلْطَانًا مُبِينًا They asked Musa to be able to see the Lord. Show us Allah in public. أَرِنَ اللَّهَ جَهْرَةً But they were struck with thunder and lightning for their wickedness. So this is a very clear answer from the Holy Quran that Allah is not an object that one can see him in this life or in the hereafter. In the Holy Quran, there are stories of some messengers of God who wanted to increase their faith in God and reach a state of conviction 
state of peace, assurance, by seeing God. One of them is the Prophet Musa. In Surah Al-A'raf, chapter 7, verse 143, this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relate to us the story that took place between him and Moses. When Moses asked to see his Lord, 143 says, وَلَمَّا جَاءَ مُوسَى لِمِقَاتِنَا وَكَلَّمَهُ رَبُّهُ When Moses came to the place appointed for the meeting and his Lord spoke to him, وَكَلَّمَهُ رَبُّهُ قَالَ رَبِّ أَرِنِي أَنظُرْ إِلَيْكِ Allow me to be able to see you. قَالَ لَن تَرَانِي You would never be able to see me. But, وَلَكِنْ Nevertheless, Look at the mountain. Onzor ila jabal. There is a mountain before you. Have a glance at that mountain. Fa in istaqarra makana. If mount the mountain stays in its place, stabilized, remains safe, fa sawfa tarani. You're going to be able to see me. Fa lama tajalla Rabbuhu lil jabal jalahu dakkan. When his Lord manifested his glory to the mountain. God manifested his glory, only his glory and his might to this mountain. To the mountain, he made it like dust. جَعَلَهُ دَكَّنْ As a result of that, وَخَرَّ مُوسَى صَعِقًا And Moses fell in swoon. He passed out. He just had a simple, quick glance of God's glory that was reflected on the mountain. The mountain was completely demolished and it was turned into dust. Could not burn, could not bear the glory of God. لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله. This is the glory of God. وخر موسى صاعقا فلما أفاق قال سبحانك تبت إليك وأنا أول المؤمنين. So when he recovered, he said, he recovered his senses. He said, Glory be to you, my my Lord. Glory be to you. To you do I return in repentance, and I am the first to believe. Now I am well aware of your glory, your your grandeur. I would not ask this question again. So if prophets and messengers are unable to see their Lord, do you think the ordinary people would be able to see the Lord, whether here or in the day of judgment? Now, some people say, why not on the day of judgment? Why not? We are going to change on the day of judgment. Maybe our physical shape, our physical structure is going to change and be redesigned and reshaped and restructured. But God does not change. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ Eternal. لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوَنْ أَحَدْ Allah does not change. Allah does not change from status to status, from shape to shape, from design to design. He's the same Lord. He's the same Lord. We experience growth. We experience differences throughout the chapters of our life. Allah does not have chapters of his life. Allah does not experience growth. Allah does not get bigger or smaller. So even on the day of judgment, we would not be able to see him. He would not be transferred from being a spiritual shape into physical shape. So it is still impossible on the day of judgment to see God. The reason why we would never be able to see God physically is that God does not occupy a physical location or a space. He doesn't have a specific direction. Even when we face Mecca in our prayers, that does not mean God is only here and he's not somewhere else. أَيْنَمَا تَكُونُوا فَثَمَّ وَجْهُ اللَّهِ You turn to the north, the south, the east, the west, 
God is everywhere. God is in the sky, in the space. God is on sea. God is on the land. God is in the desert and in the city. He's everywhere. He's in darkness and light. He's there during the day and the night. He's available. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ He's close to us. He is transcendent. We cannot see him with the eyes, but that does not mean he's absent. He's transcendent, but yet he's eminent. We can see him. We can feel him. We cannot see him with physical eyes. We can see him with a spiritual eye. And therefore, one of the disciples of Imam Amir al muminin Ali ibn Abi Talib, by the name of Tha'lab al-Yamani, he asked Amir al muminin one day, Ya Amir al muminin هل رأيت ربك? Were you able so far to see your Lord? Amir al muminin said, of course, I saw my Lord. How can I believe in him without seeing him? But then he said, nevertheless, I did not see him with physical sight, but the heart reached him with the realities of belief. With the physical eyes, we cannot see him. We cannot touch him. He's not a physical object where you put your hand on him and he's tangible and you can touch him. You can touch his mercy. You can touch his compassion. You can feel his presence. You can feel it in your heart. Actually, God occupies your heart if you choose for your heart to be his seat. Nothing can contain me in this universe except the heart of my true servant. I choose to live in that heart, to stay in that heart. So although we don't see him by the eyes, the physical eyes, but we can see him by the heart. We can feel him. We can communicate with him. We can enjoy his presence. We can enjoy the sweetness of conversing with him, of remembering him, dhikrullah of being with him in his presence. So when we say we cannot see God, we are not compromising him. We are not saying that he is irrelevant. Other religions, they can see their lords. He has a picture, he has a statue, but we don't. That does not mean that they, they are in touch with their lords and we are out of touch with our Lord. We are indeed in very close proximity to him, if we choose to be, through the hearts, the feelings, the mind that we have, through remembering him, through consolidating our relationship with him, he's very close to us. فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانٌ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُ لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ and quite important um i actually love the thought of not being able to see god i have no problem with it it doesn't bother me in any way whatsoever because imagine if god today appeared what are we going to think you know how we have preferences as in okay we like maybe short people or we like tall people maybe we like dark people maybe we like light people all those things will uh, create some sort of confusion had god actually um occupied a body and with the way the world is it would just be a disaster there's no need to see god what matters is the relationship that you have with him you've never seen him i've never seen him but you have such an amazing um 
conversation with him or attachment to him we still believe even without uh knowing how god looks like he doesn't have to have a face let him be faceless that's fine otherwise this video had the most had some good um points and i really hope you guys actually take something from this and for those that want to see god what would that do for you or what would that prove to you otherwise this was very very amazing i wanted to say something else I always um end up thinking of too many things at the same time and i end up forgetting otherwise i love this i hope you guys love this message as well make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video